All right, we are finally gonna fin finish up chapter five of Princess Pulverizer. We are on the last part today. So last time we were reading chapter five of Princess Pulverizer, she was about to try to fix the table um, that was broken. So let's see how she fixes the table or if Princess Pulverizer fixes that table. Let's dive in. The wizard rolled his eyes. Use magic, he told her, and try to aim the wand more carefully this time. Princess Pulverizer was getting annoyed. What did the wizard expect from her? She bet he hadn't gotten everything right when he was first starting out. Still, she carefully aimed her wand toward the bottom of the table and tried a spell. The legs of this table move this way and that. When my wand gives a tap, its feet will stay flat. Poof! There was a flash of purple smoke. When it cleared, the table's feet were flat to the floor. They had no arch at all. That was the good news. The bad news was that the feet now had toes, and those toes were tapping. The next thing the princess knew, the table started tap dancing around the room. The table danced its way through the door and into the hall. It was heading toward the stairs when the Wizard of Worst shouted, Don't just stand there, stop that crazy thing. Princess Pulverizer leaped on top of the dancing table. The table reared forward, trying to throw her off. The table shifted to the right. It tilted to the left. It turned in a circle. But Princess Pulverizer couldn't be thrown. The wizard stood angrily and pointed his wand. Table, be again as you should, he chanted, with a marble top and feet of wood. Poof! There was a puff of hot pink smoke. When it cleared, the table had stopped tapping its toes. It didn't even have any toes. It just had wooden feet wobbly wooden feet. Do you want me to try to fix it again? Princess Pulverizer asked as she climbed off the table. The Wizard of Worst shook his head. You've caused enough trouble for one day. I'm going to bed. You should too. We have a lot of work to do in the morning. Okay, Princess Pulverizer agreed. Where should I sleep? Choose any room you want, except for the one that's at the, at the, one at the end of the hallway. That's off limits, the wizard warned her. Good night. As the Wizard of Worst left his study and entered his bedroom, Princess Pulverizer smiled to herself. He had just given away a big secret. There was only one reason a room might be off limits. The wizard had to be hiding something really special in there, or someone really special. Someone like Lester the Jester. Oh boy. She, Princess Pulverizer, is looking, she's trying to see Lester the Jester. She is trying to find him. She is trying to find Lester the Jester. Before she, Princess Pulverizer, was looking for Lester the Jester, she was trying to She was trying to fix the table, but she could not do it with magic. She could not. All right, now it's your turn to tell me about the story. I want you to tell me about what Princess Pulverizer is doing. Tell me what she is doing and you can go to go to your actions page tell me what she is doing she's doing a lot of things she's trying she is looking she is trying to find him she's trying new things right 
She is seeing, she's looking with her eyes, she's listening for clues to where Lester the Jester is. You did a great job. I will talk to you later, and until next time, have a great day.